Habibi, can you pass me another Quran? You show, you show me a lot of trust, by the way. I was tempted, I was tempted to run away with this. <laughs> we thought you'd been kidnapped. Yeah. Take some pictures of the surrounding, jeez. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> How are you guys doing, by the way? Good, so well serious. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, all the way in there. All the way in there. Are you guys traveling like all, all of you've had long journeys, right? Yes. But you come yes. from different places. Yes. How comes? Huh? I would assume that you guys are all coming from the same point, no? No, because it's called online, it's called meeting people. Oh is it? It's called being really sociable, yeah? Yeah, uh, it's called being an extrovert and trying it out. Are you extrovert? Yeah. You're loving, you're going to love this conversation then. Oh, okay, what is it? It's on YouTube. Oh, Dow okay. to the soul. <laughs> okay. No, 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 come on, you said it now, extrovert, what? extrovert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got to Go on. practice what you preach. Go on. We're here talking about theology. Okay. Do you believe in God? Yes. Well, I believe yes. there is a God. A God. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you prescribe to any specific religion? I'm not written. My beautiful assistant just handing me some I mean, my literature. <laughs> I mean, some of my family is Catholic and Christian. No, no, no. It's you. I mean, you. I'm not religious. Do you prescribe to any specific religion? No. Do you prescribe to any specific religion? Really? No. Okay. Because like, you said it with conviction, I believe in God. Uh, I, yeah. thought, I thought you were going to say religion. All right. <clears throat> now, there is a God. Yeah. yeah. You're all on the same page, by the way, on this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, what does that God want from you? Wouldn't God give you a complete guidance on how to live? Just really make sure you're good and just it really depends what He wants you to get out of this life. Those are two points. We touched upon that. Good. How do you be good? How do you know what good is? How do I know what good is? There can be many it's subjective, isn't it? There can be many different types of definitions you don't really know. It could be wrong though, isn't it? Your definition. Yeah, is different to yours. Could be, else's. could be, potentially. So how do we know which one is good? Because I was speaking to a gentleman. Right. Because right? um, this, is, this is what I do. No, I don't get paid okay. for it. Right. I have these conversations. And he's like, I'm a good person. I go, okay. Um, how, how do you know? What, what's good? He goes, look, I don't know much, but I know how to, I'm a bicycler. Okay. So I saw this old woman. Um, she had a trolley, the wheel came off, I fixed the wheel, I'm a good person. Yeah? I got all that time and energy you spent on helping her fix that wheel. Yeah? Right. Did you bring her closer to heaven or hell? Wouldn't it make you a better person to have actually helped her to enter paradise? Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like another person might have been like, look, the whole subjective nature of good I'm saying we need ob something objective, which is the creator, which we all believe in, right. to actually tell us this is good, mm -hmm. this is bad. Well, otherwise, I'm left to my own whims and fancies. Do you know what I mean? Like me, I'll be honest with you, 10 years ago, if you asked me what's good, I had a completely different way of life. Okay. Yeah? Bizarre, I ain't gonna lie. Right. Yeah? Nothing was off the table. And now I think to myself like, that wasn't good. Right. Does it make sense? I did what made me happy. Okay. I didn't what filled my desires, but I didn't really care about how it affected other people. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? Like there's yeah. other people and there's other person. I didn't care of any of that. Okay. Yeah. But I was good to me. Right. Is that good enough? I'm saying no, that was wrong of me. Yeah. So But then you want what's best, don't you? Best for who? Best for what? Well, because if God wants you to be in a good place, you're going to have to work hard for that. So would you say in putting yourself first is selfish, or would you say it's not? I would say <clears throat> it depends on the context. Right. Because putting myself first, yeah, I can't imagine that would be good. Yeah. But putting, rather than think of it in that kind of linear way, I, it's not putting myself first or putting myself last. It's whatever God thinks is best. Right. Because yeah. the Islamic principle is, generally, um, first 
you look after yourself, right. you gain knowledge, right. you protect yourself, mm -hmm. then you protect your family from the hellfire. Because okay. the thing is, if you don't know about what's good, what's bad, okay. then how are you going to educate your family about it? Right. Does it make sense? So first it's like, no, there's an emphasis that you need to know what, um, know Allah, know the Creator. Right. And the Creator will teach you what's right and wrong. Does it make sense? Yeah. It's objective morality. Then you teach that to your family. Then you teach that to society. Because if I put myself first, it's like, do what? Like, impregnant women? And then you're having um, a whole load of children that are being raised in a broken home. Mm -hmm. And statistically speaking, um, children from a single parent family um, they have more learning difficulties. They're more, 70% um, of them are going into prisons. Right. Does it make sense? So I'm like... Well, that really depends how you're being brought up. Because I, I'm, my parents are single parents, and I've got a single parent at home. Yeah. And I think being raised is how differently it really depends on how your parents bring you up. Right. Hold on, before you go, can I give you a free translation of the Quran? Thank you. Take care. Bye guys. By the way, I mean no offense to people who are being brought up in a single family household. I've got friends who have been um, and they've, they've spoken highly of it. They're like, my mom worked hard. She's like, she's a mom and a dad. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And so on and so forth. But statistically speaking, I think it's more difficult. And you're right. Yeah. Now, if we leave people to their own devices, mm -hmm. like that mom or that dad or whoever that single parent is, how do they know how to raise a child? I'm saying God should give us a complete guidance in regards to what's wrong and right, how to raise our children, how to treat our spouses, how to do business transactions, um, how to lead a country, how to run an army. Does it make sense? Everything needs to be there. How do you feel about that? I mean, are you following it in God's way or can you not do it your own way instead of having someone, this is no offense, but instead of having someone tell you what is right and wrong, can you not just figure it out on your own and influence yourself? That, that, that's the conversation we're having. Yeah. Can you? Yeah. If you do, if I do, what am I doing? Using my intellect. Right. I'm using society. We were, earlier on we were talking about man-made law. Right. So we're being socialised. So the society is telling us what wrong and right is. Right. Like, I'll be honest with you, without... It's deep. What, do you guys... Oh, you guys are into dancing, aren't it? I was going to say dancing. about... Yeah. Huh? She is. She is. is it? I mean, I just assume you guys are all... No. Dancing, oh, going around, no. dancing around. No. What, what, what's your subject of interest, if you don't mind me asking? Me? Yeah. Uh, fashion. Probably. Fashion. Obviously. Yeah. Um, I was speaking to this individual, a psychologist, and she was talking about nature or nurture. Right. Yeah. And I'm, I'm into psychology, mm -hmm. I had the mind works, I'm into sociology, I'm in like, you know, the existential, the kind of, the mind and all yeah. that kind of stuff, yeah? Um, the reason I reference your friend is because uh, we had a previous conversation. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, <laughs> so, right. yeah. Right. Um, so we're talking about nature or nurture, right? Right. I think to myself, if you just talk about nature or nurture, mm -hmm. it doesn't leave room for the soul. Because you know nature or nurture, mm -hmm. those are two things you have no control over. Okay. Nature or nurture, like it, it doesn't leave room for the influence of God. Right now, yeah. you know you're talking about the individual. Mm -hmm. You don't have, you, me, we don't have an independent thought of our own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And I'll give you evidence for this. Okay. <clears throat> Everything that you think and say is based on things which are outside of your control. Okay. If it's um, the nurture, because you have no control over your primary school teacher. No. You have no control over your parents, your neighbours, your friends, because it's subject to where you was born, no. what schools you went to. Yeah. Um, your nature, you have no control over that because you have no control over how your genetics. No. Yeah. So without the element of God or the soul, mm -hmm. we're in a situation where it's like, we're just programmed. Okay. We're not having an independent fool. It's like okay. the Siri 
or chat, chat GPT. Right. Yeah, because it's all programming in regards to how to respond. Mm -hmm. It's gathering information, but it's not creating the information. Right. So you're thinking to yourself, can't I just decide what's good? Can't I just decide how to yeah. be a good person? Mm -hmm. But you're just gathering thoughts from what you've seen. So you're right. just thinking, um, if I do this, I've read in a book or saw in a video or I saw my mate do this and then he had that outcome, so I'm not going to do this now because right. it's going to have a negative outcome. Right. Yeah. But then I'm like, but that's limited to the level of interactions you've had. Yeah. I'm saying the creator of the heavens and the earth yeah, knows what's good for us, okay. knows what's bad for us, knows what's going to happen, knows what's not going to happen, knows that thing that didn't happen, okay. if it did happen, what would have happened? Okay. Yeah, okay. It's making more of a reaction. Like, Mind blown, but anyways, <laughs> hard crowd, hard just, crowd. No, 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 it just depends whether you believe in evolution or not. So there's two different types of tell, tell me, tell me. Let's talk about evolution. So growth, where you think these people have been either just put these fossils here and just believe like, oh, do they put these here just to make it evolve or do these things actually grow themselves? So it's just like when you see things evolve, like birds, animals or whatever, what is the outcome of that? Is there evolution or is it just a theory? Like, you just, you don't really know. I would argue from the Islamic perspective, okay. yeah, um, we don't believe in macro and micro. Okay. Which one's bigger, micro or macro? I'll mix up the two. Macro, all right, the macro, we believe in the macro evolution, we don't believe in the micro evolution. Okay. Yeah. So what that means is um, there are some things like genetic footprints where genetics um, some genetic strengths get passed on, right. yeah. But this whole concept that um, there's a single cell organism that divides, and then you had a monkey, and a chimpanzee, and then chim like a whatever, and then a lizard, and then a chimpanzee, and then like from different species, yeah. Because yeah? mm -hmm. it's not it's not something that's backed up through like the Islamic narrative. Mm -hmm. We believe that. Um, Allah created everything for a reason and right. told us what that reason is and it's not, it doesn't leave, it, Allah didn't say that man came from a chimpanzee. Right. We believe in um, Adam and Eve and so on and so forth. Okay. But I don't even like to get dragged into a conversation about evolution right. because let's leave that to one side. Okay. Where did the universe create the universe? Why? or not, okay. yeah, we're here. can we decide what's good or right, or should we go back to the, my core question, which is, would the creator of the heavens and the earth mm -hmm. tell us how to live? You rebuttaled that by saying, can we not figure it out ourselves? And I'm saying, how would we figure it ourselves? What options do we have? Right. Follow our desires, follow what society says, okay. do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't know about you, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm changing. Okay. Do you know what I mean? He's gonna, he's gonna get arrested now. Well, we've got 10 minutes anyway, so we need yeah. to go get our train. But how, how do you feel about what I've said thus far? I mean... Because I feel like... Mm. Can we take the conversation here? No, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. I mean, just... Yeah. No, 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 just this way, so there's no bank cards. Okay. Go on. No, but um, it depends on different theories. Obviously, like I'm, I'm we're not gonna have the same point of view. But uh, no, no, why not? I wanna, I wanna agree on something. Do you know what I mean? I got ten minutes. Let me get my ten minutes out on my phone. Yeah, I'll have a more ran, rather than a kind of roundabout conversation. I'll have a more full-on conversation with you. Okay. Like keep it specific to the point. Gone. Well, Literally waiting for me to put my timer on. Yeah. Starting from now. Okay. Well, no, it's, it's different theories, like whether I believe in original or mm. whether people believe in religion or not. It's, it's, I believe it's a choice whether you can. Just, it's sort of like. I agree with you. Do you believe? Well, do you believe in like the Mormon stuff, or do you think that's a hoax? The you, what? Sorry? The Mor Do you know Mormons? Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Of, what do you think of that? What do you mean as a hoax? 
Well, some people say it's a cult, some people say it's real. Some I would say that, look, for a less than 10 minute conversation, right, it's irrelevant. I don't feel, believe it's a perfect religion from God. Okay. I would, I'm in a position that Islam is correct, okay. that's divine and it's from God. Okay. The Quran is perfectly preserved and that's right. right. Yeah. Um, we were talking about morality, guidance. I've asked you the question, the answer is, Yes, okay. the creator of the heavens and the earth would tell us how to live and that would be through prophets and messengers specifically because I'm short on time because I gave you the lengthier answer specifically through a perfect scripture yeah. Yeah? Okay. which is my tangible evidence which is the Quran um, being preserved, there's not a mistake in it it must be from God okay. and if it doesn't have a mistake in it and it's perfect, the message is perfect okay. there's no corruption, in it, there's no contradictions in it okay. then this is what where I'm going to take my guidance from. Because okay. to say there is a creator and just stop. Yeah, there's a creator. That's okay. it. I'm like, no, there's more than that. There's a creator. Then what? Now what? It's like saying God is a vacant landlord. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. You've been created. There's no rent. There's no expectation. Just, like, just do whatever you want to do. Right. I'm saying um, there's an expectation. The expectation has been clearly, categorically explained to us for a perfect unchanged scripture which is objectively true, so I can prove that to be true. Right. Over more time, I'll do that. I did have a more meaningful conversation. Okay. Um, then we should follow that, because then it's... Then I mean, go on. No, How do you feel about saying... It's, so, it's just two different point of views. I'm you haven't told me your point of view. Your point of view is like, you get to a point and then it's like, ah, I don't really know, or oh, I'm, I'm just, not sure. You're asking, g give me... Yeah, go on. No, so I'm just, I'm not, I'm not religious, so I'm just, I just have very different faiths or whatever, but I'm just, I just don't like ideas religions because I've got many Muslim friends of South African and Brazilian and stuff like that, and I think their religions are beautiful and I think it is a good thing. And are you they, saying you don't need religion? Are you saying you don't want religion? Uh, what are you saying to me? What's your name, by the way? Endeavour. Endeavour. Mm -hmm. Endeavour. No, Endeavour. Endeavour? Yes. With one? Aria. 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 With one. Endeavour. Yeah. What we're gonna do with you believing in God? What, what's the natural progression from that endeavour? It's just I'll just say it takes time. No, you believe in God, and that's it. That's like what? What's sorry? What's next? So if someone, so if someone said to you now, if they don't believe in God, what would you? Hmm? If someone said to you now, they don't believe in God, and they think it's not real, and yeah. whatever baloney they're gonna say. Yeah. What was your outreach of that being? <clears throat> I would try to convince them of a creator using log logic and reason. I would ask them, um, can something come from nothing? Can something that come from nothing? I'm asking them. I suppose. Now, that answer is backed up with what? There's no leading scientist that believes something can come from nothing. Um, you don't live your life like that. You're not like, you go to your fridge, you open it, there's nothing there, you close it, and you open it again, hoping something will come from nothing. Yes? Nothing is the absence of something. From nothing comes nothing. Okay. Yeah? So, I would say that the universe didn't come from nothing. Okay. It didn't create itself, because that would be the same as saying a mother that gave birth to herself. Yeah? So, that would mean that it's something outside of the universe, okay. something powerful, yeah? Something with intelligence that put the universe into existence. Because right. there's too much design for there not to be a designer. Mm -hmm. That's my argument. So most people are convinced by that. Are you convinced by it? I will agree to disagree. Why? Who's well, agreeing to begin with? You said you believed in God. I believe that was a God. What well, do you mean by is, that? There is a God. What, do, what, what does that mean? There can be many different types of gods out there. There's not just, there's not, there might not just be one God, there could be multiple but you're just following on either perspective. Why would you say there's multiple gods? Because there's different religions, is that not? Yeah. Yeah, so they've got, they don't believe in just gods, there is multiple gods. I think we can all divine, we can all agree with some of the fundamentals of God. Does right. that make sense? So my kind of conversation style is not argumentative, it's like, let's see what we agree on, mm -hmm. yeah? Just nodding. Yeah. I, saw, I saw that. I saw that the corner of my like he, he, he was being non-argumentative throughout. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, like what, what, what can we agree on? What, there's a God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God's powerful. God has knowledge. 
Does that make sense? God has wisdom, God we'll has... We just believe that we were here on this earth to have a purpose, and our purpose is to do whatever we think is good in life. We've done a 360, we came back all the back, way back to the beginning to what you yeah. said. Yeah, but that's my point. Good well, is we subjective. Can, we can Because you're saying we've been put on this earth basically and just basically just to do, to know what is right and wrong and how but to get... I agree. So yeah. how do we know what's right and wrong? So your statement, we've been put on this earth, I agree. Mm -hmm. With a purpose, I agree. Yeah. To do what's right, I agree. Now, what is right is, is what we're going to probably disagree on. How do we establish what is right is what we need to understand. Is it important to you? I think doing good, yeah, but it just... It depends what, you, like I said, there can be many different types of definitions of goods. Uh, in the it last just, three minutes, 30 seconds, yeah? Do you believe in heaven and hell? Um, I'd say to some extent, probably, but then to some extent, no. What do you need to be convinced? <laughs> huh? to see it. I've heard this answer before <laughs> and I'll be honest with you right if you saw God and God came and spoke to you you wouldn't believe it yeah but I think it would linger in your mind for a while and it wouldn't yeah, it, it would kind of like convince you for like, me what, what, like, do you believe there is life after death or do you just believe you're dead I believe there's a life after death right. I believe there's heaven and hell I believe um, prophets and messengers told us how to live if you do the right thing mm -hmm. and the most important thing is not to make partners with God mm -hmm. yeah to worship God alone mm -hmm. yeah if we do this we'll enter paradise right. yeah and if we don't um, then we're gonna and we don't follow God and follow God's commandment because it leads to social decline mm -hmm. does that make sense because you know he's talking about being selfish not being selfish if I don't follow God then what am I doing yeah. By disobeying God, thinking I'm doing what's right, right, I could be harming society and generations to come. Okay, so here's another example. Go As on. a gay man myself, yeah. I know it's a sin and I will go to hell for the way I am as a person. Do you believe if I'm a good person and do what I need to do is right, do I go to heaven or hell? As no. I'm already a sin, as it is, or what is believed. You're not a sin. Sin, you're not a sin. a sin. You're not a sin. Yeah. Um, it says it in the book. Okay. I'm heterosexual. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now, me having sexual intercourse outside of marriage is a sin. I'm going to be honest well, with you. Huh? No, no. I'm be, I'll be honest with you. No, yeah. Okay. I desire it. Okay. Yeah. But does that make? As long as I don't act upon it. Because me acting upon it... But you've already done something that's not good. Which is? Holy, which is uh, well, not being faithful. No, it's no, like no. if you believe in marriage or not, you believe... It's like in the Mormon church, yeah. they can't divorce. Yeah. You See, we don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't have that concept in Islam. Okay. So if you're unhappily married, you can divorce. Right. Yeah. Um, sex outside so if of... someone cheated in their marriage yeah. and they weren't happy... Yeah. Is that seen as good as a good or bad? No, no, that's seen as sinful. Because if you're, it's sin, you know, homosexuality yep. and adultery, which is having. Uh, I know what it is. I know, I know what adultery is. Yeah. Do you know what it is? Yeah. Um, having just for the viewers, having in, um, relationships outside of marriage. Yeah. yeah. That they they have the equal level punishment. Okay. Because. You're in a position that you're married, you can fulfill your desires with your spouse, but you choose not to. Imagine you're unhappy. Then divorce, get married to someone else. Because right wow. now, if there are two people who are unhappy, in this scenario, they have children, then you're going to raise unhappy children. You're going to have children who are seeing their parents argue and bitter and so on and so forth. Okay. So Islam gives you a way out. It's a complete way of life. Okay. Does it make sense? So now, um, do gay people enter paradise, is the question. Yeah. I don't know. And the reality of it is, if there's a gay person who believes in one creator and acknowledges, and I know you're going to might find this a bit, a bit offensive, right? Um, that homosexuality is a sin, yeah. then they can enter paradise. Yeah? The same way, like, 
I know this is a bit of a taboo topic, like, because uh -huh. we're living in the West, alcohol. Yeah. In Islam, we see drinking alcohol as a sin. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, taking drugs is a sin, cocaine, crack. Okay. It feels good. Mm -hmm. yeah. If someone says, oh, but I want to do it. But then we look at alcohol, for example. Yeah. I'm a substance misuse worker. Yeah. Wow. So I know that um, the most amount of a and &E hospitalization, mm -hmm. hospitalizations is due to alcohol. Domestic abuse due to alcohol, car accidents due to alcohol. Right. Yeah. So uh, it's a social ill. In right. America, they actually tried to ban alcohol for three years, but then because people start making their own thing, because people know it's wrong, people see how it's affecting society, they've tried stopping it, but they can't. Does it make sense? So now, because I'm in the West, because it's normalized, let's go out, binge drink, Friday night, right. da 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 rah rah. I'm not going to say it's right. I'm going to say that, look, it's not illegal. You want to go and drink alcohol? Go and drink alcohol. Uh -huh. If you want to be homosexual, you be homosexual. I'm not going to be homosexual. Does it make sense? Yeah. Now, but people from your religion or places like Turkey or Kenya or stuff like that, wherever they believe in religion, yeah. are not accepted. So aren't gay people no, 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 are... No, 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 no. You can go there, but you can't act yeah, upon homosexuality. Safe. The same way I can't go and act Homo upon... Homosexuality is banned in over 60 countries, right? Mm. And if I go into one of the countries such as Egypt or Turkey or whatever, mm. I'm either going to be put in prison or I get killed. So for me to go there and happily be like, oh, I'm gay and whatever, so you're saying now... No, 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 same way. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So, so, so. Now, I'll go to these countries and i say, I have sex outside of marriage. What's going to happen right. to me? Oh, I, my wife's in back home. My wife's in my, in, in my house, but I'm just committing adultery. What's going to happen to me? My point is, there's loads. Yeah, we need to. We need to go. Can I give you a free translation of the Quran? Have I, have I offended you, by the way? No, no, you haven't yeah. No, you haven't. Because just very quickly, the point I was trying to make is, um, like, you, you see, if I'm advertising my sin, how much time have you got? You really need to go. Go, 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 go. Thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Sorry. No, no, don't be sorry. You've Thank given me more than enough time. Have a safe journey. Yeah, I wish you the best. Take care. Alhamdulillah. Um, yeah, I think I should have addressed the whole homosexuality thing earlier because he did come with his jacket and his eye makeup. And yeah, um, normally the thing is look, I don't like bringing up topics if they don't bring it up first. but. I'll show on time, I'll show it up because knowing that this it would have been a contention for him. But alhamdulillah, you see, Islam is going so fast where even homosexuals are ex embracing Islam, they're knowing it to be true. Because when you submit your will to the Creator and you stop following your desires or you suppress your desires to the point of knowing that, look, if I follow my desires, I'm subject to mistakes, I'm subject to problems. If I follow the law and the commandments set down by the creator of the heavens and the earth, that's how I'm going to attain happiness. Because the fact of the matter is, it comes down to people either submitting the will to the creator or submitting the will to the desires. And Allah knows best, and Allah is the creator of the heavens and the earth. And to assist, uh, I'm very tired. To get full happiness in life is to submit our will to Allah. You know what I mean? But otherwise, we're going to follow our desires and then it's going to lead to many types of problems and unhappiness. So, alhamdulillah, I pray that Allah blesses them with Islam. They gave me a lot of their times. I pray that um, the sisters specifically, Allah grants her Islam, as well as the brother as well, the brother in humanity and the sister in humanity, grants them Islam so they can be my brothers and sisters in the Ummah. So, alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khair for everyone. And I pray this was beneficial. Assalamu alaikum wa